So, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your predicted 11, and hopefully this one's not going to go on for 45 minutes. No. I'll try to keep it down this time. Thanks. But I hope you enjoyed my analysis to prove to people that I actually didn't want to talk about the football, because I'm quite good at the tactical side of it, because I'm a fan, and let's be honest, I was never going to play to a decent level. But, uh, let's go through it, straight, flick it over, page turned, obviously because we were talking about it earlier. Who is your keeper? Keeper. I imagine it's, I'm yeah. just saying, I imagine it'll be the same team that finished the game on Sunday. Yeah, I think it should be that team. Um, so we're going Kepa. Emerson. Yeah. I'm going to say Emerson based on his comments in the press conference. And then the rest of the back four self explanatory. Rudy Gur. David Louise. And. Uh, midfield, we're going to go for that one man in the pivot, aren't we? Obviously. Deep line inverted pivot with uh, George. Uh, and then you're going to go. Kanto, obviously. If he doesn't play. Kanto. Ruben off the sheep. I'm sorry, if he does not start, that he is, that is start. a travesty. That Very is a travesty. He played all of. He played 70 minutes first in Belmont. Played a hundred uh, no. How long did he play against uh thingy? Against City? Yeah. He came off at like the eightieth minute or something stupid. Yeah, he's got to play. Yeah. And then same with uh Hudson and Yeah. He he, he should Particularly be. as it was Spurs the the comments that Sorry made after the in that press Do you conference. Think he will, I mean, the team we've got on paper is Kepa, Dave, Louise, Rudiger, Emerson, Virginia, Kate, Loftus-Cheek, Cho, Wiggle, and Hazard. I think so. I think if you look at the Burnley game, mm -hmm. I can't remember too much about it, uh, apart from the top loss. Uh, but I think that, and the Tottenham team, we are Tottenham TV boys said this, uh, that the fullbacks are uh, quite poor at the minute mm. for them. So I think that could be somewhere we can explore, and I think to do that, Hudson Lewis got. Yeah, right. He'll have that directness on that side again. We'll talk about it again. Has a free round cut in. Lots of cheek again. He in that city game. People keep sharing it because that, it was that good. That's good time. Spin. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm having flashbacks. Yeah. Um. The 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 way he's got four players, his skillfulness, his strength on the ball. I think it's amazing. He should start. But what worries me is his back injury. He should be our first choice, but I think the reason he's not held it down is because of that injury. Yeah. I I think he's still got to play, though. I think there, there comes a certain point you have to play him just because you run the risk if you constantly play the other two. Yeah. That they'll have, they'll develop an injury as well. And then you're screwed. Yeah. Uh, you're in a situation similar to what United are in, where they have got a mountain of injuries as we said and a lot of them <laughs> seem to be in the same position. LOL! It was uh, funny, Lingard went off with an injury after coming on. And Rashford had to be injured the whole game, literally I think 80 minutes he was injured for. Uh, Jesus. You saw you saw the face of it. Like, well, he, like, was, of he, made, he made the, he made the yeah. indication to come off and they put Pereira on Pereira because he went down injured. So he had Solskjaer just look going, oh my god. Hello, like, yeah, yeah. my old friend playing on repeat in his head. Oh, yeah, I think I think that's that's got to be the team just because our options are lacking in terms of quality from everyone else. Obviously, mm -hmm. we mentioned Zach Costa, we mentioned Alonso. I don't see making a change of centre back because why would he? Because it's a, an important league yeah. game. I think I think it's kind of a case of you just need to see uh, Dave. Dave again, we've we've already discussed that is position that is a liability because when he gets forward yeah. in that space, you're going to have human song bumming down this side here. That is going to be a massive issue because Song will exploit the space on this on our right hand side, and I'm not going to lie. It's, I mean, David Luiz is normally playing on the left hand side, isn't he? Yes. So if you'd sort of are, I mean, I'd, I'd not be as worried with Rudiger on this side, but I think he's he's going to maintain his spaces. Jorginho will be covering left and right. I think he'll be doing very a similar job to what he did uh, against City, uh, 100%. Um, and look, I think. Cantier is going to be again up and down when Jorginho, for example, may be covering our left hand side, he'll be covering this space here. And then Loftus Sheet will. It will, it will what I noticed when we went defensive in the game against City, we almost dropped to five midfield. Yeah, we did. 
You had you had the four you and had, you had uh, Willian and Pedro. Yeah, no, Willian and Hazard. Sorry, dropping quite deep. That was Willian and Pedro, I swear. Oh yeah, it was because Hazard was still playing. Willian and Pedro dropping, playing almost like left and right mids. Uh, do you think the same? Do you think Hazard did the same? No. I don't think it's a game, personally. I, I, I personally think what will happen is it'll be Loftus she would almost move out wide well, so we, and then we end up Charles seeing here. that quite a bit in the when he came on, we end up seeing that a little bit where Hazard almost dropped in behind Higuain and Loftus she went out on that left. Mm. Uh and it kind of worked. Yeah. I think the the in intri intri uh, in, intric intricities is intriguing. No, intricities like Intricacy, is it? The intricacy of, you know, the way that Loftus Cheek manipulates the ball along with his size is definitely a massive factor. If you're going up against Trippier, I'd back Loftus Cheek in that battle. Um, you know what I mean? Am I, am I boring you? No. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, he's a late night. We pull, we, pull, we pull the shift here at home at Chelsea. We're doing uni work all day, so we have to fill in this old spot. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's, that, that should be the start of it. If Kovacic starts, I think you lose that ability to be able to play that system. Um, I, and again, we've already agreed that maybe extending his loan is probably not the wisest. Um, it's possible. And, yeah, it's possible. and not so nice as I'm buying him. Um, Barkley, on the other hand, I just think... <sighs> meh. He was a long-risk transfer, but... Uh, like he, he's definitely not someone who I would consider. He's good enough to do that to outplay your opponent, but in a game like this, you need to outplay your opponent. Yeah, and I don't think he's good enough for that. You need to shift the ball, and I, th I think I even against Malmo, yeah. to be fair, he was this, he was yeah. poor. But I mean, this this left hand side that we've got, Emerson, Loftus Cheek, Hazard, just that triangle almost in terms of possession was so pivotal against Man City in that move for Pedro as well. Um, the bit I love to see Charles playing. I think it was Barkley that came in and dropped in to do that job. Um, but still, I think Loftus Cheek will make it all that much better. And obviously, the thing is, Spurs are going to have Loftus Cheek to worry about on that left hand side of theirs, while we are basically trying to stop checking your leg, uh, trying to <laughs> um, maintain the ball. I think Tottenham are a team that likes to press. Yep. And where we're going to be spending too much time trying to challenge the press rather than just lump it sometimes or just try and control and maintain what well, we're trying to control and maintain possession, which is the mistake we made against them in the reverse mm -hmm. fixture. So for me, it's kind of a case that we just need to be very, very, very careful. Very yeah. careful indeed. I, I, I am not completely sold on the... We, 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 it's, it's clear we're lacking players. We've already agreed other full-backs are required. I think... We need to find cover full of his cheek that is viable, and then obviously try and try tie Callum has to do it down to a long term deal and Higuain. We decide whether he's going to stay or not. But um, I mean, what do you think? I think he should stay for a year more because I feel like there's other positions we need to improve first. I feel in terms of order, fullbacks are the first priority for me. Jade Silva. Jade Silva and Emerson. I don't think are bad options. No. I just wonder whether he, he very well might be, but I wonder with a lack of Premier League action whether he is able to step up to to do that step up because we've seen from a few other players they haven't mm. been able to. Uh, I think right back we need, uh, as I said, and I think stir that other centre mid spot. I think Loftus Cheek's good, but I think mm. injury concerns are a problem, and I also think there are probably depending on how much money we're willing to spend, mm. a few better options out there. One annoyingly comes to my place the other team. No. I'd love to have him, to be fair. Ericsson. I, I would like. love to have Ericsson. I'd like Ericsson. They only signed him for like some, I think it was, like, it was either 8 or 17 million from Ajax. Literally peanuts. But no, we have to go for the names, marketing purposes. <clears throat> Christian Pulisic, after what I saw him do against Tottenham, I'm not filled with confidence when he arrives. But, you know, he's a young lad. Yeah. I've, got, I've got to support him through it. But look, listen. We'll go through that one more time. Kepper in goal, Dave, Louise, Rudiger, Emerson, Jorginho, Kante, Loftus Sheet, Callum Hudson, Doy, Higuain, and Hazard. We feel that should be the lineup. Obviously, the lineup that ended the Carabao Cup final. So, leave your thoughts down below what you think about that. And finally, just to finish it up, Mr. Page, please give me, or Scott Bryan Page, but I, but I, please give me a score prediction. Uh, I'm the old one, all, I think. Mm. I. 
I can, especially with how long we played uh, yeah. on Sunday, I feel like trying to go out there and, and basically outrun Tottenham is going to be nigh on impossible. So I feel like getting a draw is not the worst result. It doesn't really do anything for us. I, I don't think I, my move is up to a position. Yeah, but no, it's nothing major. No. Yeah, no, I, I, look, I'm not going to call this one. Because again, 120 minutes of football can take its toll. Especially for like Kante, Torginho. But basically that back, four, that, that back four... The back four is a bit of worry about. I think other than Loftus-Cheek, Higuain, Hazan Adoy, everyone else is going to be feeling a bit. I think Pedro is definitely going to be seeing some minutes. William, I don't want to be seeing any minutes because of his reaction to Pep off the game. People say it's only a little thing, but you've lost just as a cup final. Like, maybe I was just polite and just smiling. Yeah, mate, come on. Let's go, yeah, cool, whatever, move on. You don't need to be having a little laugh and a grin. If it was just a little laugh or a little smile to make him happy, it wouldn't be for such a lot of sustained period of time. But, uh, yeah, anyway, listen, guys, that is it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to call it. Scott's giving you his prediction. Uh, and that is it for your match build-up show on 100% Chelsea. Obviously, make sure you let us know all your thoughts down in the comments section below. Brendan Rodgers, top four. What do you think about Kepa? What do you think about Emerson? And everything else we have discussed in this preview. And, uh, yeah, take care of yourselves. We will see you at Chelsea vs. Tom at an 8pm kickoff. And we are as excited as you are. But, I know, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow Scott, follow me. And I'll see you later. Ta-ra. Yeah.